dollar is just weakening. Uh, silver has been dragging behind for so long. Yeah. But I know you told me off camera that you believe that silver is actually more rare rare than gold. Yeah. Uh, why why do you why is that? Why do you think well, that? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I wasn't really planning on making a video today, but because of the events going on and uh, there's just so much happening, um, I, I can't actually believe how much is happening. But you know, this was to be expected. I told you guys I had a weird, really uh, doomy feeling about 2024 uh, leading up to this next election, and I think it's going to get much worse. So uh, today, Gold made a big reversal from the morning, and it made a new all-time high. Uh, as of the, as of me making this video, it's at uh, gold's at two thousand three hundred and twenty-four dollars. Silver's also up forty-two cents right now. It's at twenty-seven thirty-eight. Uh, let me save that. I'll post that up on the video in a second here. But. Um, yeah, this morning it, it looked weak. Uh, silver and gold both looked weak. And I'm not sure if the Fed made any comments or remarks to make it reverse. I mean, it just completely reversed and went straight up. Uh, it's either that or it's because of uh, what's brewing in the Middle East. You know, uh, it looks like it really appears that Israel and Iran might go at it. And uh, honestly, that's really not a good thing for the whole world uh, because... You know, if Iran decides they're going to retaliate for those uh, that strike that Israel did on uh, some of their generals or whatever, if they hit within the borders, send some missiles or rockets or whatever into uh, Israel, uh, Israel's not going to, you know, just sit back and take it. You know, the Israelis will hit them very hard, I believe, and then we could have a much wider war. And from there, I don't know where it's going to go. But uh, also something very strange, and I don't remember seeing this. It may be more common than I, than I realize, but it seems very unusual. But uh, what was it? This morning or a little while ago, um, a, a, a fairly big earthquake hit in New Jersey. And I'll put it up on the screen. But uh, I guess it was uh, near the epicenter, over five. And uh, they felt it in New York City. So I don't remember in my lifetime as that being something very common that uh, New York or New Jersey would get hit with a big earthquake. I, th I found it very shocking. Uh, I know it's not a huge earthquake, but for there, that is huge, you know. And um, there's just a lot of weird, weird, strange events going on right now. Um, there's also uh, multiple areas of our country and even into Canada and Mexico where they've... Uh, declared a, you know, a state of emergency uh, prior to this eclipse coming on Monday. And I think, think that's very odd. It also seems very overblown. I know they're expecting an influx of a lot of people to show up into these areas. I mean, I'm in the uh, Cleveland area, and you know, it, it's a big deal here. A lot of people are talking about it. Uh, they're telling us to maybe stay home. I know a lot of businesses are closing down for that day. So... Uh, I, you know, I, I'm surprised that they're making such a big ordeal about this. And then now you got this earthquake, you got Iran and Israel maybe about to go at it. Uh, even uh, Hezbollah has been saying, uh, the leader of Hezbollah today said something about, uh, the, you know, there's going to be revenge for Iran and all this stuff. So it appears that this might really kick off over there. Um, you know, and, and seeing the price of gold shoot up the way it did, makes me wonder if uh, this is not a combination of things affecting the price right now. Um, people are, you know, they're expecting uh, something to happen big, and uh, it's moving the prices. And I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen, but, um, you know, you could be assured that something is going big is going to happen. It just seems that way. And I know a lot of you guys uh, think the way I do, and uh, think something's about something's brewing for sure. So where it goes, I don't know. But uh, I know, like I said before, historically, uh, gold and silver will react to uh, wars and things like that. So that may be what's going on, uh, or maybe it's just decoupling 
from the US dollar or inflation is probably much worse or it's probably a combination of all these things. So there's a, a good chance that we're gonna see higher prices here coming up. Um, I don't know the future, this is my opinion. You know, I, I can't tell you guys exactly where it's going to go because I don't know for sure. It just appears logically that this is going to continue to move higher. And um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So I'm here with one of my customers. Uh, he tells me he's been in the silver and gold stacking game since 2004. Is that right? Yeah, 2004. 2004. So you're a veteran uh, stacker. And uh, as you know, gold is on a wild ride right now it's on a tear on a big uptrend yeah. made a new all-time high again today yeah. uh silver is also up uh quite a bit in the last couple of days mm -hmm. although i think it's got a long way to go to uh you know where it should be i think yeah. silver should be much higher than it is right now yeah but you know i think that's been manipulated but uh you know what's your opinion let me ask you this. What's your opinion on this, these high gold prices right now? What do, what do you think is going on with that? What's pushing the price up? Well, what's pushing the price is like um, inflation. And the thing is, um, it's hard to, for people to understand that um, the fiat currency since 1971 um, uh, was based on the oil. And, and Nixon took us off of the gold standard when... when uh, who was the guy that run in France then? Uh, Trudeau? No, not Trudeau, that's Canada. Um, the French guy, I can't think of his name, but um, he wanted some gold to pay some stuff that we owed France. And well, it was getting out of hand. Everybody wanted some gold in 1971. So um, uh, uh, Nixon said, well, we're going off the gold standard. So since then, they've been able to put it on oil as the main thing back in the dollar. So. And they made a deal with the Saudis and the rest of the gang over Yeah, but there. do you think, like a lot of people think, and I think it's happening, I think uh, the U.S. dollar is is actually declining in value. I mean, I know we see it through inflation, but mm -hmm. I believe that uh, the dollar's days as uh, the king of the hill are numbered, and I think that's because they're just printing and borrowing way too much money. The debt is unsustainable. Right. So, I, right. I, I mean, nobody knows. I know nobody knows what's coming down the road for sure. But it sure appears that, uh, you know, like gold breaking out like this, especially gold breaking out, I think it's central banks around the world buying it up. And mm -hmm. I think it's because the, they see what's happening, and I think the dollar is just weakening. Uh, silver has been dragging behind for so long, yeah. but I know you told me off camera that you believe that silver is actually more rare, rare than gold. Yeah. Uh, why? Why do you? Why is that? Why do you think well, that? Well, because it's a byproduct of the regular mining, which goes for copper, gold, and whatever else they're trying to get, and they get it as a byproduct, and they're not looking for it uh, directly. Um, unless they are one of the few silver miners. So if you were, uh, like, I know you you always buy and sell and stuff like that, but uh, you think it's a better to buy silver right now than it is to buy gold? Yeah, I would trade my gold in for silver really? now. Really? Because, you see, um, unless you're rich and you need to back your money with something that isn't going to weigh you down too much, literally, um, because you need right. a lot of ounces at this point. You got 82 to 1 or so. If you divide 27 and change into 2300 and change, um, you come up with 80 something. Right. And, and that's way out of whack. So it's really a buying opportunity for the mojo to be gotten out of silver. Yeah, I mean, I, me personally, I don't pay all that much attention to the gold to silver ratio. I've made videos yeah. about it. Um, I know a lot of guys do, and they pay attention to it. To me, it just, what I see in reality is that silver has uh, been kept down, manipulated mm -hmm. yeah. for whatever reason they have, and I believe uh, that it has it needs to catch up quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, I think personally, I believe silver should be 50, 60, 70 bucks an ounce compared to where gold is at least. Yeah, at least. But yeah. Uh, it's interesting that you you believe that you know a lot of guys do. I have a lot of guys coming here thinking that silver is a much better buy than gold. Yeah. And then, I, but the, the funny thing is, uh, even at these higher prices with gold, I can't keep it in stock, and I'm constantly ordering for people. So there's the gold the, or the silver. Gold. They're buying both, but yeah. gold 
surprisingly, I didn't think anybody would be buying it at this point, but there's, I just ordered this yeah. morning 10 ounces for a guy. I mean, they're buying it up like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't yeah. know if that's like fear of missing out stuff or what, but, uh, you know, very, I, very, very popular at the moment. I think we're going through it through the change of, okay, I think this, it's hitting the fan. So if you got a lot of money, you're going to want to take that money and put it into gold first, just because you got a lot of money. Right. And depending and, on your and, situation. And, and then the silver though, if you got been following what the situation is, as you mentioned, it's been manipulated ever since 1871 when they had that whole thing coming down. Uh, the Silver Steelers, check that out on YouTube, some Silver Steelers. Okay, yeah. And it, it's a good one. one. It talks all about how uh, the people back then were using, uh, I mean, farmers, whoever, business people were using silver to pay for things, but then it was not allowed to do that anymore. Well, we might change for fiat currency that way, uh, the way it was. We uh, could get to a point where it becomes trading and bartering only. Yeah, it, 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 it'll I think that day is coming. It, it's going to come when the ATMs don't work because we're in a digital world. Yeah. And the digital world means that it runs on electricity. Now, I could run here from my house if I wanted to without electricity, but and then have something if you're open, you know, and I can get some <laughs> more fiat currency, currency yeah. from you for my product. But the thing is, we're in a world of digital, um, what do they call a, 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 all the stuff that the Fed's doing? It's all on there, you know. They have a, a site in in New York City where they're working, and I don't know if it's in 55 Water Street, which is ironic that they had a a flood down there in the basement where they kept a lot of papers, but I'm not going to get into details it, on that. Interesting, yeah. But it's an interesting fact that that happened, and oops, we don't have any of those documents anymore. So, what do you think, uh, you know, we had that uh, earthquake today in New Jersey. Yeah, we had an earthquake. That was sort of a wake-up call to a good. degree. I didn't know they had that kind of a fault there. It's not their fault, but no. it is their fault. Yeah, it's Another their thing fault. The thing is, Funny. though, as far as the uh, that kind of thing, you know, what are you going to do? Here in Cleveland, Ohio, we have Lake Erie. Will it open up and spill out on us? I don't know. Right. All I know is it'll be salty water. It's not up point. to us. It's up to God. It's up to God. And but all doesn't do is don't you think this year though? I mean, I feel very doomy about this year. We're leading up to the election. I think I think it is very um, very doomy. But the thing is, things are coming out in a way you can look at it as revelation of revealing the crap that's been going on under the covers yeah. with all the jo you know the guys mostly that have been running the world sure we got a few ladies in there like van der Hoopenfeld, whatever her wow. name is over there with the uh, eu and all those knuckleheads but they're all run by the same 200 or so families who knows what it is yeah but, exactly. you know, it is what it is it's like a barber shop a coin shop is kind of yeah i mean i think you can have a piano player in here too if you want to have a piano, <laughs> piano bar player. or at least an accordion bar uh, i think you're taking it too far i'm going too far but yeah. listen, I gotta do you want to come in here and play music don't you play music or something i do uh, you come in here and you can entertain my customers i would well. love to do that uh, for you. thanks for coming on today man yeah, i you're appreciate welcome, man. your I appreciate insight. the best to you guys and uh, just all i can say is be grateful that we have a creator. I appreciate that. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. All right, guys, there you have it. That was one of my customers. He's, uh, you know, he's, he's pretty eccentric. Uh, he's interesting. He has a lot of knowledge. I'm not saying I agree with everything he says, but some of the stuff I think he's spot on. Some of it I don't think he's on. But, uh, you know, everybody's got their own opinion, right? I just thought he'd be interesting, and he agreed to go on camera with his face blurred, of course. But, um, you know, if you have any comments about anything, uh, if you have any opinions on where you think this is all heading, please leave them in the comments below. I appreciate it. And if you would, please like and subscribe because, you know, it helps the channel grow. So until the next video, I'll see you then. Thank you.